You know, I think CAR-T therapy is uh, such a, a novel transformative treatment in multiple myeloma. And it's the only approved therapy right now that's given with no maintenance treatment. Uh, patients have to go to uh, specialized certified centers to receive this treatment. And so oftentimes one month post treatment is when they would be returning home uh, to continue their care with their primary hematologist. So um, at that time point, it's helpful if we have some information to guide us in terms of um, safety for ongoing monitoring with no um, additional need for follow-up therapy versus patients who might be at high risk for a relapse and how we can design future studies to improve their care. And so we have uh, seen data reported uh, both with KARMA-1 uh, IDA cell clinical trial from ASH late last year. And uh, we at Mayo Clinic have also looked at our patients who's received FDA approved CAR-Ts and just CAR-Ts across clinical trials uh, in patients with multiple myeloma. So with both analysis, we found that at months one, patients would not have necessarily achieved their deepest response to myeloma. But we can already tell in the bone marrow and uh, by PET scan if the patient um, have achieved MRD status in terms of clearance of, of plasma cells. And for patients who are able to achieve that, these are the patients who are more likely to go on to have sustained MRD negativity, which have also been found to be associated with prolonged progression-free survival. But for patients who are not able to achieve that at months one, they're actually at much higher risk of having progression at some point fairly early on uh, within the range of months.